Let's see another powerful thing that the calculate function can do. It can manipulate the relationship between two tables. So in Power BI, if I click this button here for model, I want to focus in on the relationship between the sales orders table and the dates table. The dates table is just a typical table of all of our dates. It has year, month, day, so forth, right? The sales orders table has two different, it actually has more than two dates in it, but the two that we're going to focus on, it has order date and it has ship date. And here you'll notice I have two relationships that define the relationship between order date and the date in the dates table. And the second is between ship date and the date table, right? Notice that one line is solid and one line is dashed. The solid line indicates the active relationship between those tables. That means when I create a visualization where I'm filtering on year, it is going to use the order date, not the ship date. The dotted line is the inactive relationship between the tables. It will never use that relationship by default. So if I go back to my visualizations, you can see that I have total sales here, and that's the 1.35 million, you know, the $226,000. We've seen these numbers many times in the previous videos, right? But I have a new measure, and this new measure is called total sales by ship date. And if I click on it and add it to the chart, notice that the numbers are slightly different, right? 467 instead of 469, 649 instead of 658, 210 instead of 220, and then a whole bunch of money down here that's not assigned to a year, and it's because that money, those orders have not shipped yet. And since they haven't shipped yet, they have a null ship date. So if we look at what the DAX looks like, it's calculate again. And what does the calculate function do? It overrides the filter context, right? That's what we're doing. So if it's going to override the filter context, how is it going to do it? Well, this is the sum we've been using the entire time, right? Sum order line total, right? But this time we're saying use the relationship between ship date and date not order date and date. And so since I'm overriding the filter context, I name it total sales by ship date to indicate to the user that I'm overriding it. And that's why these numbers are slightly off because it's not using the order date relationship, it's using the ship date relationship. So once again, just to repeat, it's because I'm using the calculate function that overrides the filter context, and I'm using use relationship to indicate that I want to use an inactive relationship. And that's it. That's how you use calculate to override the relationships in the model view. Thanks. And finally, this is how you can get a hold of me if you need to. There's my Twitter and my email address, and of course my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe and get more videos on DAX and Power Apps and data engineering and cloud data and other things that interest me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Have a great day.